Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the clipping tool, as well as some issues you might run into with the clipping tool. And we are also going to finally add in some doors, because, you know, it'd be nice to, I don't know, get out of this room. I'm right? like trapped in here like forever, just ugh, terrible. Okay. So the first things first, uh, we're going to go over to here and we're going to open up this light. We're going to set the brightness down to 100 because I want it to be just a little darker. Now, the clipping tool is a very nice and very lovely tool. However, one thing to note is that you can't really, it doesn't really seem to work well when you use it on a brush that's been carved. So for example, in order to use the clipping tool, first you shift S and you select the brush you wish to edit. And then you select the clipping tool. And what you can do from here is you can zoom down and you just drag straight on across. Now, wherever you see a white line, that is the portion that will stay. The red line is what will disappear. So we'd hit enter here. You know, this whole other side disappears. We can control Z and then we can reselect that and then hit shift X to pull back the uh, clip tool. And then if we hit shift X again, you'll see we have both. And now we hit enter. And as you see, we've now put a, we've essentially cut it in half. Now, one thing to note about the clip tool is that we're not able to select these individual brushes. So our goal here, of course, is to clip it into separate brushes and then you know delete it effectively so what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this brush here entirely we do not need it at all and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this one right here and we're just going to delete that too and now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our textures here and we're just going to grab our actually we want none of our textures because we don't need to do that at all what am i thinking uh, we're just going to grab this and drag it all the way over. And we'll grab this. And then we'll grab this. Okay. Perfect. And we will change back to our uh, orange texture there. And we'll make a new brush here. And we will just drag it all the way across. Make sure it's all nice and flush there. Hit enter. Okay, perfect. So, as stated before, uh, you know, we do want some some holes that we can, like, you know, carve out for, like, a window or whatever. Um, but first, let's go on ahead and get our door. So let's go back to our entity tool. And we'll just type in prop. And you'll see prop underscore door underscore rotating underscore checkpoint. We want this one because it is a checkpoint door. Uh, you can also use the other doors for, you know, just common doors that exist throughout your level. And then kind of sort of in the middle here, I'm just going to place it down. And I'll just double click it with the selection tool. And then for world model, I am going to select in the filter. Uh, you want to search for checkpoint. And I'm just going to pick the first one as it is the fairly standard Left 4 Dead 2 and one door, and just hit enter. And now what I'll do is I'll just move that over there and I'll just drag it up. And then I will set the Z or the yaw to 180. And you'll see that the door is as it should be. And now we're gonna change the body to one and hit apply. And you see now we have our lovely little uh, little bar there. And the other thing, of course, you can change is uh, you can change the open direction. So you can tell us, oh, it only opens counterclockwise or it opens up in both directions. That's entirely up to you. Uh, I'm just going to hit cancel for right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the grid down so we can make it nice and flush. And I want to put it inside the wall here. Okay. And now what we want to do is I want to select our wall and then hit shift X for the vertex tool. And we just want to drag across over here and the top. Okay. 
And I will just hit enter. And now what I want to do is do a shift X. And again, keep in mind, you want to make sure that, whoops, see how they're, they're separate now. Uh, they're two separate. So like I can delete this side or this side, but what I want to do is I just want to select both of them and then I'm going to select the clipping tool here and I'm just going to drag this right on across and make sure that they're both white and hit enter again. And now I'm going to zoom in here on the right viewport and right at the very top, I'm just going to do a shift X and now what I could do is just keep the top part and hit enter, but that'll delete the whole thing because you know we're cutting it in half. So instead, I'm just gonna select the middle piece here and go back to our clipping tool and then hit enter. And now just our door is done. Or alternatively, you could have kept both and then just deleted it. And you can see we have our little, little bar there. Now let's go through and add our, um, our beautiful little, uh, you know, let's, 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 uh, let's see, let's grab this one here and let's add a window using the clip tool. Let's get a little extra practice in. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it back to 16 and then I'm going to hit shift X and I'm just going to grab and drag this up and I'm just going to hit enter. Oops. Should, uh, probably not do it that way. There we go. Okay. And now I'll just grab this and do a shift X. Okay. And hit enter. And do a shift X again. I'm gonna grab both of these here. Shift X. There we go. Just did not want to. Uh, I keep forgetting. I'm forgetting my own advice of uh, you know remembering to make sure that everything is white. There we go. And we'll do it one more time. And I'll just drag this down, and then we'll just do a Shift X. And now what we can do here is we can say remove this. And now we have a much lower uh, little bit there. But again, keep in mind that these are separate. So, you know, what we can do is, is raise this up and then say raise this up. And we'll just raise this down. Now, one thing you will notice, though, is that it is fairly chopped up. So for example, uh, you may occasionally, when you're using this tool, you may have to go through and clean up your brushes. Like there's no reason to have all of those brushes. So we'll just drag this straight on down. And that of course is going to drive me absolutely crazy. But again, the good news of course with all of this is, there we go is that, uh, whoops. Nope. Oh my gosh. All right, save that. Awesome, okay. So the good news with this, of course, is it's all separate, so you can more easily go through and, you know, optimize the mesh as you see fit. Okay, so with that done, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna save this and then we're just going to run our map. And if everything went well, we should have a fully working door that opens. We just have to, you know, just have to give it a second there. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Okay, map is unplayable. Okay. So, as you see, we have everything still working here as intended. We can hit E. It pops off. We hit uh, E again. The door opens. And as you can see, 
We have an AK-47? Oh, nice. Okay. So, there you have it. We now have a door. Uh, we could make this look a little better by adding in, say, a, you know, a prop static or even using maybe potentially an overlay. Although I think using a prop static for the actual door portion would look better. Uh, and once again, we'll look at improving the shadows. But do keep in mind that, you know, using uh, higher resolution baked shadows uh, will actually cause... Um, you know, effectively, uh, more like first the map will be bigger, which is the usually the biggest reason not to do it. Okay, so we're just going to add in a bit of just a little bit of extra look there. All right, so we have the door frame. Okay, I'm just going to hit okay there, and then we'll hit apply. Oh, very nice, very nice. And we're just going to set it to four. And then we'll just need to get it all nice and lined up with the door there. And I'm just going to close that because, you know, it's kind of hard to use that thing there. And it looks like we have our door frame mostly there. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's look at it. Wait a minute. Oh. Well, it's a little backwards. So what we're going to do is do a 180 rotate on this. And we'll just do our best here to line it up. Oh, there we go. Has the proper hinge and all that sort of stuff. So we'll just do a file save and then let's just run this map up here really quick. Okay, just gonna do the last check here. You would think having like an NVMe drive would, you know, make this portion much, much faster, but you would be wrong. You'd be very wrong. And what do we got this time? Oh, the sniper rifle. And now when we open this, of course. Yeah, I guess it, it's too much into the wall, which is fair. But at least we do have the hinges now, so it's not just, you know, just chilling out. and All that good stuff floating in the air. Anyhow, um, that'll be it for this tutorial. And the next tutorial... We are going to expand again, and I'm not sure necessarily which tool we're going to use and learn next. Uh, might be the Vertex tool. I'm not really sure. Um, however, regardless of that, uh, I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you run into any issues, don't forget. You can always comment down below or join the Discord as well. Um, if you would like to become a member and get early access to these videos, uh, you're more than welcome to. There's a join button and there's links in the description. And it would really help to support the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a lovely rest of your day.